the verse is saying that even though that I'm black, I'm still beautiful. Even though that I'm dark, I'm still beautiful. And the meaning of that verse is to is going on the letters. That the letters of the Torah, they are dark from one side, but if you look on the other side, they are 100% connected to the blank page, to the paper, to the scroll of the Bible, of the Torah itself. And the Torah is dark fire that is written on white fire. The dark fire is the dark letters of the Torah, and the brighter, the light, white light fire, that's the fire of, uh, that, that, that is the blank paper, the, the page, the scroll of, of the Torah. So now, the Holy Torah that we read, even though that there are 600,000 letters and many, many books that have been written and printed and by righteous people, it's still limited. Even though that it's very, very deep, it's still limited. But the light of the white page, the white fire of the Torah, that's the potential, that's the endless Torah, that's the real source of what it's written in the, in the Torah. So the white fire, that's the fire of our soul. The black fire is the external fire. You as a person, everyone as a person, when you walk in life, you have those two aspects. One is the external Torah, the one that you read, the one that you saw, the one that you received, the one that you've been taught by rabbis, by righteous people. It can be very awesome Torah, but it will always going to be an external Torah. It's Torah that came from the outside into your ears, into your eyes, into your inside. But you have a higher Torah than that, and that's the Torah that is shining from inside. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.